Here we are again. It's the first Saturday of a new month, so it's time for the check-in. This is the second one I've done, sort of a vlog-style thing, I guess you might call it. Just some general ramblings and a couple updates on the channel and plans for what I'm going to do. So now I'm headset free on these, uh, thanks to a lapel mic. So it's the first time I'm using the lapel mic in this room. So I'm hoping that it's going to be okay because right now the AC is on and I'm not sure if this mic will pick that up and screw this up or not. Levels seem a little low to me still, but I don't know. Just let me know what you think about the audio in the comments uh, if you want. I can adjust the gain a little bit in, in post, as they say, you know, when I'm editing it. But if you do that too much, then it gets real peaky and you get some distortion when I talk louder. So... Uh, it's it's a lot to figure out. It really is. I mean, I've, I've listened to stereos and I've been into some good audio most of my life, but not recording it, just listening. And going in is a lot different than going out. That's what I found. But anyway, um, it's funny because I'm not usually one that ever loses anything. Uh, typically, I'm the guy that goes and finds stuff. Certainly in my day job, that's used to be one of my main jobs for a long time was uh, problem solving and finding lost merchandise and I was pretty good at it so it's ironic that the first time I bought this mic uh, was back in 2016 and this is the one I got if anybody cares highly rated but very inexpensive anyway so I over the years a lot of people probably don't realize this it's watching if you care I have attempted to start a YouTube channel many times, and then I always chicken out, is what I do. Uh, there were several false starts where I would start buying equipment, buy a laptop, because I don't even use a laptop other than this. I have a big desktop that I built, and I love it, but I'm not going to cram it in here and take up book space with a desktop. So a laptop just to do this show, and a fairly nice webcam. So that's, what I, that's how I do it in here. Now, the unboxings are all in their own room now, especially. You know, I used to do those in the garage. But we actually converted Kristen's old bedroom, which became our sort of back room and just sort of an area where we'd wrap presents for Christmas and just store some things. Well, I converted that into my new unboxing studio, which I'm sure you've seen by now. I've already done a couple videos in there. Got it working really nice. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so I had bought, in 2016, I bought this mic. And I actually lost it because I didn't start the YouTube channel like I should have. Chickened out. Couldn't stand to see myself on, on the screen. I couldn't stand my own voice to hear it played back to me. And scared of failure and just chickened out. So, And then I put the mic somewhere. It's little. It's very small. It blends in the black shirt here, but small. And it just got shuffled around, and I, I lost it. Which again, I, I don't I'm not I don't typically lose things. I keep track of stuff pretty well. But man, I lost this thing. So I ended up getting a headset in here. You know, when I first did started the doing the reviews, and my concept was, well, I need the headset because it seems like the headset would be better when I if I ever go live or if I ever collab with any of the channels that go live, I'm going to be able to, need to to hear my levels and also you know talking to the mic. So I bought that. That wasn't a cheap set either. It's pretty good stuff. But I really wanted to try the lapel mic because I thought, well, you know, if I didn't have to have that on my head and the cord and all that, and also it just didn't, I had a lot of glitchy, distorted kind of sounds, and hopefully I'm not going to have that with this. Anyway, point is, I decided to order a lapel mic again because I couldn't find this one. <laughs> so ordered it. I mean, it's, it's not expensive, so it's not a big deal that uh, after I ordered it, I started looking at the packaging, you know, online, looking at pictures of it, you know, before it came. And I thought, well, now I know what this box looks like. I'm going to find that damn thing. The, the first one I ordered, five minutes, found it. So this is actually the new one here. The old one is in the unboxing room, but they're the exact same model. Anyway, I, I, hope that, I hope that didn't bore anyone, but 
I thought it was amusing, you know, a little story. But also, I want to announce that hopefully I have this tentatively scheduled with her, but Monday, July 4th, in the a.m., probably around 10 a.m. Central Time. I'm not sure of that time yet. I'll try to put it on my Twitter or something so you guys will know if you want to, you know, participate in the chat uh, live with Kristen, my daughter, a.k.a. the Comic Slayer, um, a.k.a. Omnicat. Anyway, she went to Heroes Con in North Carolina, in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, this last weekend. And, of course, I made her take some of my books to get signed. I mean, there was like 30, 40 uh, people I wanted signatures from there. And I didn't give her 30 or 40 books. And I cut the list down to like 10 names. That was hard doing that, but I did. And I sent about 10 books with her. So she, she did pretty good. She got half of them. She got over half, I think. Anyway, I, I, I'm dying to show these and show scans of these covers. But I, want, I thought it would be good if instead I did a live show with Kristen so I can ask her her impressions of the people that she got these signatures from. I thought it'd be a fun video. So hopefully we're going to be able to do that without any scheduling issues and she'll be able to appear with me. So this will be the first time I went live on this channel. I've been live with uh, her and OmniDog once and on her channel with her once. So. so I'm looking forward to it. A little nervous, but, you know, I think it'll work. Uh, I will put links to all of her stuff down in this video and the one we do together too, her Instagram and, of course, her, her YouTube channel. So one thing that's kind of ironic about uh, becoming a YouTube creator and being a YouTube junkie before that and still yet, I've been a huge viewer of YouTube and subscribed to probably 500 channels, you know, or better. Uh, one ironic thing is uh, now that I'm, uh, you know, a content creator, I actually have less time to watch YouTube. You know, uh, so I've actually had to, I didn't really jettison any of the subs, but I did turn off notifications on a few of them that I just don't have time for. Yeah. So I hope I can get subs and I'm not one that gets turned off because you don't have time for me, but I try to keep my stuff fairly brief. Uh, none of my, you're never going to see a video by me that goes on for an hour. Probably. I say probably because I don't know what will happen with the live thing, but my goal is for my stuff to be 30 minutes or less, and usually 10 minutes or less. Or, or less. I, I kind of aim for 10, but you know it doesn't always work, especially with the really big books that have multiple creators. You know, and I want to try to cover what I think of each one, and and that it takes some time. Yeah. Uh, currently, I'm reading uh, Frank Miller's Daredevil Companion Omnibus. About halfway through that. You know, no surprise, I'm loving it. Then I'm probably going to read next, probably Batman Reptilian, or Pride of Baghdad, which I recently acquired, or The Boys, Volume 1, maybe. Then I've got Marvels, too, which I've never read. I've got the big Platinum Edition. So I'd say my next reads, if you care, is probably going to be those books. The Batman Reptilian, Pride of Baghdad, The Boys, and Marvels. Not sure of the order yet. And yeah, I'm, I'm violating my FIFO for these. But as I've said before, the first in, first out, I do violate from time to time, especially when I'm trying to read something because I want to see the TV show and I want to read the book first. So there's a violation. And then also I'll read something that I'm confident is going to be a fast read, like probably Pride of Baghdad will be, and maybe Batman Reptilian, not sure. That, that might be a fast read too, because, you know, uh, reading the collected stuff of older comic books in Omnibus, you know, format doesn't matter, but those books tend to have more panels and often more text. Not always more text, but definitely more panels per page uh, on the older style books, and those just take a while to get through. So, you know, while I'm going through an Omni of older material, it's going to take me a month or more. I can pause that, read something fairly modern like Pride of Baghdad, and boom, I'm done with it in very quickly. There's good and bad to both approaches, I think, and I don't uh, prefer one over the other. I think probably it, my preference would be something in between, you know. But, you know, as far as the channel, new stuff and updates, I can mention um, I do have, I did hopefully improve the graphics for the intros. It's still nice and short, and it doesn't have any annoying music. Uh, my old uh, intro with, with just the beige, 
I should probably explain the beige because people are like, why'd you choose beige? Because I don't even like that color. Well, I'm not in love with the color either, but that color, I actually, I tried to color match uh, the original pulp newsprint paper of a comic book, which is also what I've done here. This is um, this paint that I painted this room with. I took a, a piece of an old comic that was already torn up and used that to get the paint color for these walls in this room. I wanted it to look like kind of the neutral sort of pulpy tan that is the original comic books that I grew up reading. And it's, it's a pretty good match. And I think it works good in here as a neutral now. I mean, now when I tried to match that with Photoshop to make those graphics, I, it seemed like it was a little too dark. So I lightened it a little bit just for contrast. And that's what resulted in that color that's in that uh, opening thing, in case anyone cares. <laughs> But anyway, that was the Owen, and I retained that for the band that goes across the middle with the uh, title of the, the channel. But now I have a really, really dark background, and if you're looking at it on a, you know, a not as great screen as, as I'm using, you might not even have noticed, depending on if you're looking at a phone or a computer, that it's actually comic book covers. It's a whole bunch of scans that I've done of comics I own, and then I did some crap with it in Photoshop and darkened it so it would be a good background. I, I like it better. But length of time-wise, it's just a hair longer. The old one was like four and a half seconds, and this one's like five and a half, something like that. But still, nice and quick, hopefully not annoying. <laughs> that's one of the worst things, I think, to me as a YouTube uh, consuming consumer of, of YouTube stuff, is the long, drawn-out, overwrought uh, intros people will, will use sometimes. Sometimes you're, you're like, come on, let's go. Let's get into it. And they, they just won't. But, so I do have a schedule worked out now. I mean, I've had it pretty much since the beginning, but I have solidified that, and I'll, I'll put a graphic up here somewhere uh, showing what I'm trying to do with the channel as far as what you can expect. Now, the hauls and unboxings aren't on a specific day. They're more or less real time. I mean, I try to, I, well, I always get it up the same day that I actually unbox the things. That's how that works. And I, I purposely try to avoid days that I have another thing on there because I don't want to inundate people with a ton of notifications and, you know, in one day. You know. That's how I'm trying to do it. I don't know if I'm succeeding. But upcoming reviews, in case anybody's wondering, uh, Monday is Paper Girls. And then the week after that is Wolverine Weapon X Gallery Edition. Another great big one. Uh, then Wolverine, at the week after that is Wolverine Nick Fury, the Scorpio Connection. And the week after that is the artist Sean Phillips. And then the, the next week will be uh, Daredevil by Frank Miller, The Companion, which I'm reading now. Now, all those videos are shot except for the last one because I'm still reading the book. Yeah, just in case anybody wants to know. That's, that's how far ahead I am on the reviews, about three, three or four weeks, which is good because it, and it, and it's kind of a necessity. I have to do it that way. That way or I'm not going to have time to read these things that are big and drawn out, you know. So I think that's all I'm going to ramble on about. Not going to keep here forever. But uh, if you made it this far, thanks. Because the YouTube algorithm loves it when people watch something all the way through. You know, this, that YouTube algorithm, the monster you've heard about, is a monster. It's hard to understand, and it can make or break a YouTube channel. So if you, if you haven't subscribed yet, and you like what you see, and you like my content, and how I'm presenting things, please give me a subscription, because that's the first metric that drives the YouTube engine, is number of subs. I mean, my hopes and dreams for this channel, you know, if I keep doing it, is that it'll, that it'll keep growing as far as number of subs, and why is that? It's important. That's important for a variety of reasons, and not the least of which for me, is I'd like to do some interviews with some of these creators, especially some of the older creators that frankly, are going to die on us. You know, they're, they're, they're going to go away. Uh, I mean, their work won't. It'll live on all this. But I, I would like to talk to some of these people and ask them some questions and things like that. And I just, you know, they're not going to look at a YouTube channel with less than, probably not less than a thousand subs. I mean, I, I could be wrong. Maybe it's just me. But I've reached out to a few and I ain't got anywhere. But I'm having trouble breaking through that 300 sub barrier. I've been at 298, 297 for a while. But anyway, it's, uh, I appreciate the ones I got, not slagging that, and I 
thanks a lot for keeping me going here. So I'll see you.